Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. Welcome to this video. This is going to be part one in a multiple series of videos on the World Edit plugin. Now this is going to be as simple as installing and doing the base configuring of this plugin. In later tutorials I'll get on to selecting regions, schematics, um, different type of world edits and things like that. So, getting right into it, we're going to want to open up our server folder, go into plugins, you're going to want to download World Edit and just drag and drop that right into your plugins folder. Once you've done that, you can run the server and it should start up with zero errors, which it has done, so then we can stop the server and go on to the configuration. So we're going to want to go into plugins, go under World Edit, and as you can see, we have World Edit text document and the config. Now the text document is just a logger, which we're going to talk about in just a second, but we're going to want to go to the config. I'm opening this config with the Notepad++ application, there'll be a link in the description for that. So getting right into it, there's some information you can read right here, which I actually recommend you reading. And starting off, we have limits. First we have the max blocks changed. Now these are simply the amount of blocks that can be changed in one operation. Uh, if something's set to negative one, that means there's currently no limit, but you can set limits. For example, I can set the default limit as something like 20, and I can set the maximum that some somebody's allowed to do as like 150, and then nobody would be able to edit more than 150 blocks at a time but I'm just going to keep this at minus one for now. And then we have the max radius, and that's just as it says, that's the maximum radius of the edit that you're doing. So negative one, there's no limit. You can obviously set a limit, something like 100. Max super pickaxe, which is, again is just another limit. That's the size of the pickaxe that you're allowed to use. Currently it's five. You can change that as you please. Max brush radius, so when you're in game and you're using the brush tool, that's the maximum radius you're allowed to set. Uh, five, the maximum then would be at about ten up and down, about ten side to side. It's just five from the middle, so five in every direction. You can set that to like ten if you want extremely large ones. If you wanted no limit, which I actually do not recommend you doing, you could set it as minus one. I'm just going to keep it as five. This is disallowed blocks. It's just blocks that cannot be used with World Edit, so I can do things like add, let's say I didn't want anybody to use stone, I can do that, or I can keep it as six if I wanted to, I could add it some, so I can go all the way to the end, and then add, for example, I could do, let's say, 97, so if I didn't want them messing with silverfish blocks, I can do that, or I can just keep it how it is. And then we have Use Inventory. And this will make it so to use World Edit, you have to have the blocks in your inventory. So if for some reason you want to give your players access to this plugin, well, to the World Edit plugin, you can require them to do any block edits with blocks that are actually in their inventory. And the Allow Override is just a permission node that you can use. Um, I'll link you to the wiki also so you can see any in-depth information on this config file. Then we have logging, which I talked about earlier, which is this world edit log file. This will save any typed commands or any information that world edit produces in the server console. Then we have super pickaxe. This is just a super pickaxe. You use the command. I think it's, uh, I think the command is two forward slashes just like this and it enables it and that just makes instant break. With your pickaxe, you can drop uh, enable drop items so if you break it and an item drops or you can use it for something else you can put that as false you can change the mini drop items which I recommend you just keep as false if you don't want your inventory to jam up and then we have snapshots and that's just the directory your snapshots will go in I'll have a link in the description to what snapshots are because that's complicated and I might do that in a future episode and then we have the navigation wand. Now this is the compass. If you, it's by default it's the compass, you can change it if you want to. If you look at a block and left click with a compass in your hand and you have the correct permission, it will teleport you to the block you're looking at. Or if you want to go through a block, you can go right up to them, right click and it will teleport you through a wall or something. And you can set the max distance for that, so if I only wanted people to jump 
20 blocks, I can set that as is. Then we have scripting, and this is just the amount of milliseconds that you allow scripts to run. I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'll have a link to the wiki once again in the description. Now saving, which is schematics, which I'll talk about in a couple episodes. This is just where the directory your schematics save. So I can actually create a directory and call it schematics. And that is where all the schematics that I create will save, and I could also put them in there and load them through the server. You can also do history, so you can, for example, if you did a couple edits and you want to undo them, you can undo them for a maximum of 10 edits and a max of 15 size. The butcher command kills all, I believe, hostile mobs. Pretty sure it's hostile mobs. The kill all command kills all mobs. But Butcher kills all hostile mobs on the server currently. It's minus one, so there's no limit. You can set a limit for like 250 if you wanted to. Wand item, by default, it is the wooden axe. You can change that if you would like to. Spell save type, if you know what that is, you can customize it. It's not really required for anything. No double slash, so currently all of the world edit commands require a slash, and then a slash, and then the command, so like wand. If you wanted it to just be wand, you can disable the no double slash. No op permission, obviously if you don't want them if you don't want the ops to have permission, you can set that to how you want it. And then debugging you can have true or false. So that is the base config. When you're done you can save it. And if you have your server running, you can just type the forward slash reload world actually world edit command and that will reload the base config. So that is the basic tutorial on configuring and installing world edit. Please stay tuned, I'll be uploading more world edit tutorials soon. Hope you have a great day, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.